everyone, I'm here today with Paul from Custom Reptile Habitats who made yet another trip up to our zoo, but this time brought with some custom built invert habitats that we are going to set up today for the invertebrate cave. So Paul, what is the plan today? Ah, well, we have uh, lucky number 13. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. That was an accident, by the way, that we have 13 <laughs> invert enclosures in the zoo, yeah. but it just worked out great. Uh, we've got some of the 20, 21 inch, and then we've got some of the 31 inch. And what we're thinking of doing, of course, we've made it so where the lids pop off, it's already sealed with the silicone, and now we can put the backgrounds in. I think we'll cut the backgrounds, get the background material in, foam it, silicone, and then once it's all done, we can start decorating. The lid pops back on start putting them in. So step one, put in the three-sided background. Step two, step three, profit? Step two, decorate it. And then step three, put in the invertebrates. I don't see why we yeah. wouldn't be able to do all of that in today's video too. So we've got Grace, the curly-haired tarantula out. You've seen her before. And she, I think, is going to be one of the first inverts to go in the invert wall. <laughs> trying to figure out what to do for lighting for the invert cages and we'd like to do LED but we didn't want one long string of LED lights kind of weaved in and out of all the enclosures in the wall and then we found this at Ikea and it looks like you can have four bars connected up to one plug. Ed's playing around with it right now. So oh. we can make it if you wanted if, if this was the size we wanted we could silicone this side and you can silicone this connection up and okay. then it's watertight. Oh. So that's a solid bar. Do you think one of those would be, I think that would be good for one of the smaller cages. Are you gonna plug it in? Yeah. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I think that's gonna be now great. Let's go over here and put this in one of those. All right, Actually. let's see what it looks like in a box. Oh, bearded dragon. It's like a magic wand. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what's the spell? Wingardium Leviosa. Oh, oh. that spell, Lumos, yeah. Lumos, wait, I know wait, that. Wait, uh, I didn't realize, again. okay, again. okay, <gasps> Lumos. Oh. Did that work? No, it didn't. What the? <laughs> why is that? Is that? It? Oh, this isn't plugged in. Oh, the extension All cord right. isn't plugged uh, in. That's why. <laughs> they, we can just edit this part out. Yeah. They won't. They won't know. This is how magic really works in Harry Potter. Yeah, plug it, plug it, in. it into the wall. Okay, now do it. Lumos. Yeah. Oh, it worked. Nice. Yeah, I think that's gonna light it up just fine. Oh my gosh. I think that'll work like perfect. Yes, that's gonna be beautiful. Do you think one or two for the uh, big ones? Oh. We have I guess we can see what it looks like in a big one. Like. Okay, how about two of them in a big one? How's that gonna look? Oh, nice! Mm, perfect. Yeah, I think that's gonna be great because it won't be so bright that it'll like spook the invert inside, but it'll be bright enough for you to really see them well. Perfect! And then honestly, we can unplug each one from this control box. So if oh. we need to take one down. We could just unplug an individual unplug cage? An individual one from there, yeah. Oh. This is actually gonna work out almost perfectly. Well, we're at Ikea and they thankfully restocked all of their LEDs and we found multicolor LEDs. Wouldn't that be cool just to like at a press of a button change the oh, color yeah, of the invert? Right here right now. Oh, you're changing it? Whoa! Yes, let's do multicolor. Then we could change it for like the event or just whatever looks best for yeah. the that invert. Yes! Well, we're back at the facility, so now we are going to carve off the foam that we filled the corners with. Now that it's kind of expanded overnight, we're gonna make sure everything is flush and sealed to the sides, adding a little bit of silicone if needed, and then we'll start decorating them. And Ed just dropped a box of screws. And, and more things. What you doing? Looking up tarantula natural habitat. So you I come can... here. Okay. I just realized I cut you off because I thought you were done. <laughs> That's all right. I'm also eating fruit snacks. So you're getting a lot of work done back here, I see. I'm researching. <laughs> I want to replicate their habitat in the wild. It's true. Okay, go ahead. Okay. You gonna shut off the light, like behind me? Uh, no, I would never do that. Why would you think I would do that? See, there it is. Yep. I knew you would. I called it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That I think is going to be great, I actually. think that's like a perfect one. I just ran into something. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I really and like ready? that. Ready? Different colors. <laughs> oh my gosh. Our tarantulas could all have a rave. Yeah. 
That's amazing. And then you can set it to just automatically rotate through. Nice. And I freak know. all the tarantulas yeah, out. Yeah, I was going to say, I don't know why we would use that, but it does look pretty cool. <laughs> wow, and it's not like... Oh. I didn't even notice there was glass there. You it's, you can reach yeah, through it. It's so clean. A, that's how clean it is. Uh, but it's not bright enough that it's going to be harsh on them, I don't let's think. Let's set this back to white. Yeah, and it's like a good amount of light. I think yeah. it's dim enough. Uh-huh. It'll have like, in the cave itself, it's going to be dark. So this will bring your attention to yeah. it, but not be blindingly bright. Exactly. This is going to be perfect. Well, I just finished my notes, actually. This is good timing. So I'm going to start decorating them, I guess. I can't see you at all. Yeah, I know. I guess <laughs> yeah, we shouldn't talk about that. I can do this. Oh my gosh, turn that off. Sweet, we've got our tropical substrate. I'm doing the curly hair tarantulas exhibit first, and I've mixed some sphagnum moss with eco earth, and there's about six inches of bedding here because there's like an additional inch and a half down there. And yeah, that's gonna be a ton of space for her to burrow in. There's so many glares, geez. But yeah, now I'm going to fill it in with, I have a variety of rocks and cork and universal rocks decor and other things, and actually a lot of scraps from the zoo build, from the bigger enclosures, we're going to be incorporating, or I guess kind of recycling in a, in a way, into these invert cages too. And speaking of recycling, all of these were made using leftover pieces from Custom Reptile Habitat's other builds. So all of this is really recycled. First enclosure's done, and there's a lot of glare. Oh, that works. I can kind of sit in front of it. So this is for our Nicaraguan curly hair tarantula, Grace. So we have more of a tropical setup here. And Paul had a great idea. If we angle the cork bark towards the front and kind of make a tunnel right here behind the glass, that will encourage her to adopt this tunnel. And then even if she is subterranean or she's underground, you'll still be able to look at her under the cork and through the glass. So that should help keep her being a very much a burrowing species, still visible to the public. I like how it turned out. Yeah, I think that'll work. As we are finishing up the invert cages, Paul and Ed are putting them in place. And we're trying to figure out who's going to go where, because we don't want, like, we have five species of tarantulas we're planting. We don't want them all in one spot. We want to spread them out. So some people have to walk by a tarantula when they have to go to the bathroom, of course. But we have decided what all the inverts will be, which was a project, and we're going to leave some of them as a surprise. And we'll put into the enclosures what we already have. Except now, though, once we have all these plugged, I mean, they look really cool so far. But I won't be able to do this. What are you up to? Nothing. Go away. Fine. Yeah. I see how it is. Oh, I'm gonna miss this. Behind the invert wall on the employee side, Paul and Ed are busy installing the lights and the shelving units. We're doing floating shelves just to support the back half of the enclosures too, but you've got to see what they look like. Oh yeah, look at that. That's our future vinegar rune uh, exhibit, display, whatever. Enclosure. enclosure, thank you. I don't know, I'm not used to zoo terms yet, I guess. And curly hair enclosure. And then we have one over here. Ooh, that's gonna be the walking stick enclosure, right? Yep. Yeah, that's gonna be cool. Can you see dance mode? Dance mode? Oh, <laughs> nice. Let's have raves. It'll look a lot better too when this isn't all When they're all full? Yeah. Oh, I can't wait to try that when they're all full. <laughs> We're going ahead and setting up enclosures for all of them, now that we know what's going to go in each one, we're going to go ahead and Mandy's helping out and helping set up all these based on their natural habitats in the wild. And even though we don't have all the inverts yet, we're going to be acquiring them soon. And then once they arrive, we can just put them in their appropriate habitat. Hi, Vicky! <laughs> Well, here we are. The holes are filled except for that one. I still have to make that one. However, you we... Want, you want me to go and jump on the other side so you can explain that? Yeah, fix the light, yeah. yeah. We ran into a slight issue with lighting because if you look here, it actually looks a lot brighter on camera. It's pretty dim in these and like 
the the light being screwed to the front and shining back, we thought it would spread out more, but it's really just focused on the back and uppermost part of the enclosure, not really shining down at the animals. So then we added a second LED bar to this one, the blue death painting beetles that we're gonna get. We put one shining down in addition to the one that's shining in back, and that casts light outside of the box and onto the floor. So that's not really what we're looking for. And you can actually see the reflection right there. So Paul and Ed have been working on this. What Ed's doing right now is he is holding the light at a 45 degree angle. So instead of it being on the front and shining directly back, like it was before, yeah. like that, and instead of it sitting on the ceiling and shining down, yeah like that and casting out at a 45 degree angle that's that sweet spot where it's shining right into the enclosure but it also kind of skips over the front area which is going to be our encouraged hidey hole for a lot of our burrowing species we want to encourage these tarantulas to hide right here behind the glass so that people can still see them even when they're hidden so that means we shouldn't have the light shining on them we want them to feel secure so this is just going to work out perfectly however it means we have to turn all of the lights to a 45 degree angle yep. which means we have to cut wood and silicone or screw pieces of wood up here yep on all these so we're not quite done but we're getting there paul gets to get away on the hard part yeah lucky you the hot part. <laughs> <laughs> well it is 11 o'clock it's late and we've been working like non-stop the last two days but we are almost done with the invertebrate enclosures in the invert cave mm -hmm. and they look magnificent like even better than i was hoping for yeah I, I think it turned out really well we put some time and effort planning and uh the result i think it's gonna look pretty impressive yeah i'm yeah. loving them yeah. already all we have to do and paul won't be here for this because you're heading back tomorrow morning mm -hmm. but yep. ed and i are going to take the lights we have to turn them into a 45 degree angle still and then we get to put in the inverts paul also came up here to deliver the four foot enclosures for right. our enclosure build off yep. and i think in just a few weeks you're probably going to be back mm -hmm. here again yeah. for the yeah. contest yeah it's gonna be good can't wait for that well yeah. thank you so much for helping paul Anytime. too yeah and i guess sure. we'll see you tomorrow morning and the wall is done look this turned out great it just spent some time uh well we spent like all day yesterday tweaking all of the lights so now they point at a 45 degree angle oh and then so Vicky comes, comes in, in. <laughs> <Vicky> comes in. <laughs> So now they're all illuminating like the entire enclosure instead of just the back wall. And that turned out great. That was so worth the effort. Yeah. It looks so it good. It took enough. five hours, but it was worth the effort. Totally worth it. And then Ed today spent some time getting some insulation in the crack that was visible above some of the enclosures. So now you don't see any light leaking from above. It's just the enclosures in the wall of the cave. It is so cool and I'm so excited with how these turned out. We're still going to add water dishes. That's the last thing we have to add. But instead of like a ceramic dish, we want to add something more natural looking like a shell of a nut or something to hold water. So we have to get those still, but other than that, they're done. And something we hadn't pointed out yet is there's ve actually ventilation down each side of the enclosures. And this encourages airflow or air circulation throughout the entire enclosure because it goes up through the back since there's some screen in the small service door back there too. So we shouldn't have to deal with much, if any, condensation inside, which will make the invertebrates more visible for the public. So let's go through, should we go through on sure. what's all in here? Yeah. Okay, so we'll start down here. The first invert people will see when they enter the cave to go to the bathroom will be a red rump tarantula yep. and a fire leg tarantula up here. And down here we're going to get some blue death painting beetles because they're really cool. We're going to get some sort of mantis to put in this one. I don't know what species yet. We're going to do an Arizona blonde tarantula in here, which we already have. And then down here we're going to get an Asian forest scorpion. Over here, a centipede, a giant centipede of sorts. I don't know exactly what species. Up here, some assassin beetles, which would be really cool. Over here, we're going to have a couple of Arizona bark scorpions since they are communal. And down here, some walking sticks or stick insects. Then up here, we're gonna have a green bottle blue tarantula since they're an excellent display species and they do a lot of webbing. So that's why there's lots of branches in there. Over here, we're gonna put one of our big vinegaroons, the one that was given to us by Hunter that you saw us unbox. And down here is gonna be Grace, our curly hair tarantula's display. We well, Hopefully we can encourage her to go in here. Yeah, I really hope she adopts this tunnel because then she'll still be visible because they are definitely a burrowing species. But we'll see what she does. She has tons of soil in there to burrow, so yeah. who knows what's going to happen. We tried to look.
look up, or we did look up, the natural habitats of each one of these species, and we tried to make their own unique biome for each inhabitant, and it made them all look so unique. Yeah. Each one looks different, yeah. and it's so cool. I really like the centipede one because of the greens from the mosses, mm -hmm. and then I really like the... Uh... I like the walking stick one. Oh, you do? Yeah. I tried to do like a North America mm -hmm. theme, and I may or may not have collected all of the spruce ends and the pine cones from our parking lot. There you go. But it works, you know. I also like the curly hair tarantula yeah, one. with the tunnel. Yeah. They're they, all really nice. They, yeah, yeah, they're... They all turned out great. I think and they're really well hidden from the light behind. Because yeah. you blocked mm -hmm. them. Yeah. Good job. It's like super professional job and no one will ever notice light coming in from behind. Yeah. Just pat yourself on the back a little bit more. There you go. Should we put in the inverts? Sure. The ones we have anyway? Yeah. Here is Grace, our Nicaraguan curly hair tarantula, and it is finally time for her to go into her zoo enclosure. Do you realize she is the first creature? Yeah, she's the first animal that's getting moved into an uh, wow. enclosure. I would never have thought it'd be a curly hair tarantula. No, neither would I. Yet here we are. All right, okay. I'll go around to this side. All right, all right. in all of the invertebrates that we have already except for our red rump tarantula because he's going through a molt right now and we don't want to bother him until that's done so we'll move him in later but yeah here here's the back side of these enclosures they're really slick too so these are the locks you just kind of move them aside and then this little flap opens up so that's what we're going to use day to day and then if we need to we can pull the entire box out and we can take off the whole lid and like change bedding and stuff like that but we'll be able to just reach in for quick water changes really easily with these so i'm really excited for them and we've got the floating shelves that's holding them up and all worked the out. electrical work oh yep here you can see the uh, the panels or the uh, color changing bits so we can like turn the dial to be a specific color or we can have it fade through rainbow colors which is fun too yep. we actually ended up buying two sets of all of these and the other set is to just resell them all in the retail area so if you're interested in an invertebrate cage that's really cool there you go that's uh that's how they pa work. Paul said he was only making those 13 extras, so yeah, a that's, super limited run. That's all we're gonna have, so if you want them, feel free to stop in, but yeah, I, I really like these. It's perfect for what we're using them yeah. for. Do you wanna go look at all the inverts in their enclosures? Yeah, let's see. I haven't seen them in here yet. Oh, where did they all go? Oh, there's yeah. Grace. Grace went straight into her plant <laughs> and said, no. <laughs> I'm done. And so did Vinegaroon, but then Vinegaroon moved. Vinegaroon's climbing oh, up never the mind. wall. Yeah, Vinegaroon's, you can see a leg. You can see the, end, uh, the what's the thing on her butt called? Her butt string. You can see that's hanging right there. <laughs> the walking sticks are yeah, in they're here. They're scattered around. Oh, one's sitting on a stick. Oh, nice. How oh. can you see him? He's a stick. Camouflage at its yeah. finest. <laughs> you might recognize some of these inverts because they were gifted to us by fans. But yeah, here's our Arizona blonde um, uh, tarantula. I almost said scorpion. But yeah, Arizona blonde tarantula it's there. Arizona bark scorpion. <laughs> yeah, right, right. And then our fire leg. Where'd he go? Oh, uh, oh he's under the tunnel. Nice. He's in his burrow, oh. which I cannot show you at all. Let's see if I can adjust brightness. He's right there. There Aww. he is. Hey, dude. That is so cool. Yeah. He's using it already. Oh, this is awesome. And this is where the red rump will go after he molts. So, yeah. 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 The invert cave is done. It's done. Other than having to put some more inverts in. But now we can buy inverts. Yeah, now we know what we need. We have enclosures ready, so we can buy mm -hmm. them. Ooh, I'm so excited. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's video. We are thrilled to have one major project in the zoo finally done. And this has actually been, I don't know, inspiring for me. I don't know about you, Ed, but this yeah. has been inspiring for me to keep going in the zoo, just to get all of it to this to level. To see what we can do in three days. Yeah, I can't believe we got this done in three days. Aw, Grace is moving out of her plant a little oh, bit. Go check out your yeah, burrow. go check out that. It's really cool. I promise you're going to love it. Yeah. Oh, she's moving. Okay, well, while she's moving, thank you, everybody, for watching. 
Thank you to our Patreon supporters for your generosity. You're awesome and we really appreciate your help and we appreciate everyone watching because you help us out too. I'm going to spend the rest of the day watching the inverts, watching I think. Watching Grace? Yeah. Sit in a plant? Yep, pretty much. Let us know which of the invert setups in the invert cave is your favorite in the comments below and we'll see you next time. All right, Grace, you have to turn around and go this way. Keep going and keep going. Go around the rock, go around the cork bark, and then hit your hidey hole. She and can you do should it. be good. I believe in you.